Representative from Graham. Say what's up, America? I think you should know me, right? How the half a replica? Guys, I'm Raj from Not Many Things, and uh, in the previous video, I have shown you how you can make an intro screen for your game. Well, uh, in this video, I'm gonna tell you how you can add a scoring system for your game, right? But before that, I will uh, do some changes in the crash function. So let's get started. So look, guys, just like intro screen, there must be a crash screen. Like uh, suppose that you hit the boundary, and uh, after that, the game will uh, instantly stop or it will exit. And that's not what we want because we want to give user the choice that he or she can play the game again. Okay, right? Without uh, reopening the program. So to do that. Uh, we will just copy the intro ok right this much we will just copy um, ok ok guys i have copied this whole ok and uh, i'm gonna paste this all in the crash function ok um, I'm gonna select this all and I will now paste so now in crash function also we have a screen now right but the problem is that uh, this hole is just like the intro screen so we want some changes right so let's make some changes so here instead of look badger let's write um, you lose okay so that's here our crash function is so let's save this all and run it um i use f5 key to run the to run the code so here it is right so now I'm gonna enter the game and let's test our crash function. Okay guys. So as uh, I crashed, this screen opens. Okay right. So now here also I can click and go into the game again. Right. Or I can just uh, click on this and I just move outside. So our crash function is ready. Our intro screen is ready. Now I'm gonna tell you how you can add scoring system also. So let's make another function for scoring system dev scoring underscore system the parameters must be nothing well it will work on its own okay so so mm, in here wait guys um yeah here so here i will first of all uh, define the color let's say um score color okay and let's choose any random number let's say 130 and then 160 and then 155 okay now i'm gonna select the font so font is equals to um by game dot font dot capital f font and then font must be arial right so i'm gonna copy this I have copied it and I'm gonna paste it here so our font is ready and the size must be let's say 55 and then we have font then we have uh, text right so text 
is equals to font dot vendor and the text must be um your score your score and then colon and then closing string and now you have to write this also str um let's say count because it counts okay so after that you can write you have to write true and then color your color is score color um now you have to delete this thing on the screen so to do that write display dot delete okay and then um, text and then where you wanna delete it flex is 0 0 because this coordinate is very easy and then now that's it your scoring system is ready but the thing is that you have to do something here also in the game loop so you just write here count count is equal to 0 right I have defined the variable count is equal to 0 and now look uh, in here if block this part here you have to do some changes um, let's write it here um, count count is equal to positive 1 right so now that's it now this should uh, make our scoring system now I'm gonna uh, save it and run it Um, so I am in the box okay we didn't get a score system yet oh, oh right 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 sorry guys I didn't call the score system in the game loop or in the game loop function okay guys so to do that I'm going in game loop again Now here I am calling um okay so here I am calling our my scoring system scoring system system and then there is no parameter for it now I am gonna save it and again running it so I am going inside the game okay there is again and <laughs> some problem I think global name count is not defined okay mm. okay let me solve this problem okay so so here is our scoring system let's do some changes okay I'm gonna define a parameter score let's say count okay I have defined this parameter count and now I'm gonna write here now let's see okay there is this um yeah here is our scoring system function I'm gonna write here count now I'm gonna save it and then running it again. Oh gosh. So here it is. Let's check it. Okay. So our scoring system is working correctly as our block passes here from here. The score goes up. Okay, three blocks we have passed. 
I'm gonna win. Oh shit. Yeah, okay. So let's go to our work. So we have defined our scoring system in this tutorial. And uh, if you have any questions about this, and if you wanna give me any suggestions, then you can give in the comment box below. And you can also join me on Facebook and Twitter. And uh, if you wanna download the resources I have used in this image, then you can also download them from the links I have given in the description of this video. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. And if you like my video, then give it a thumbs up and share it as much as you can. So till the next video. Goodbye.